zomygodcj.com. Oh hey guys, this is Clinton Jeff from zomygodcj.com, and in this video we're going to take a little look at text input and typing on the Nokia N900. Now the Nokia N900 has no portrait view officially for text input. Now typing is pretty cool on the N900. The keys um, have good feedback to them, uh, and they're pretty responsive, as you can see there. Uh, the space bars on the right side of the keyboard, which takes a little getting used to, but once you do, you would pretty much love it. Um, as you can see, there's a direction keypad over there uh, with separate keys. Um, if you want to use any of the blue color symbols, you have to type the symbol key first and then press the appropriate key. There's also a symbol uh, and control key right there. There's a caps lock key right here uh, and a backspace key and enter key right there. So the keyboard, as you can see, is pretty good. It might be a little cramped up and there's not that much space right here in this area, but it's pretty good. We don't really have any complaints about it. Um, you get used to it really, really fast. To make things a little faster, there's also a little uh, virtual-ish word prediction thing, as you can see there. Um, it kind of helps you out most of the time. Sometimes it has uh, not really accurate results, but... Um, yeah, I guess it's helpful. There's also a separate text input option under settings. When you tap that, uh, it'll take you to a little hardware keyboard uh, layout. You can also use a virtual keyboard, but that isn't very recommended. Um, there's word completion that you can turn on or off, auto capitalization, uh, insert space afterward that you can switch on or off. The dictionary can be set to English UK or English US. And that's where you can set your first and second language. Now the virtual keyboard is kind of cool. You can tap anywhere to bring up the virtual keyboard where you can type uh, any kind of thing there. Um, it works basically the same as other virtual keyboards and it is a bit responsive thanks to the uh, touchscreen on the Nokia N900. You can also have various features like cut, copy, paste, um, a couple of symbols over there. That's the enter key and the backspace key. You can also drag and select any word you want if you want to copy, paste it, or replace it with something else. Um, if you're done with it, all you have to do is type the tap the little bottom icon there to bring it down. So yeah, that's the on-screen keyboard on the Nokia N900. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the keyboard and text input on the Nokia N900. Um, if you have any questions about this, do let us know in the comment section below. To know more details on this, do check out our post on zomegaidecj.com.